we have to reimagine these spaces. We have to reimagine these temples of learning and, and, and commerce. That's what, these, that's what these spaces, that's what these, these churches can become, where people can learn to grow food in the business of food and how to grow themselves with that. These spaces can feed people and supply restaurants. These empty spaces can give opportunity. I like to say, forget about hope. I want opportunity. You know, give them hope. The hell, what, what really can you do with hope? But hope. <laughs> the hell with hope. Ooh, I don't need no hope. Give me an opportunity, and I'm going to make something happen. Trust that. <laughs> and, that and I think that's what's missing. To me, in, my, in the communities that I've seen, hope is, <laughs> that's lack of opportunity is a disease because it's on purpose. These communities are designed on purpose that you can't get any healthy food. It's, it's like that, because you go to another community, and, you know, there's food and, you know, parties and everything everywhere. The champagne is flowing, but you go to other communities, and there's nothing. It's just miles and miles and miles. Oh, yeah, you can get some liquor. You can, you can definitely buy some cigarettes, you know, but try to get an organic apple. It's not happening. And it, but, okay, but we do have dialysis centers. I got to give it to them. Thank you for the dialysis centers, guy. Even though if I change my diet for seven days, I might not need your damn dialysis center. But why don't you just tell me that? You know, why do you want me on these drugs for the rest of your life? You know, it's, it's, it's by design. Um, and it's, I've seen it all across, <laughs> all across the United States. You know, and, and the thing now, even in places where it has it didn't exist. You know, I, you go to, you go to, you know, I'm in Oman, I'm in Qatar, and all these GMO crops everywhere, and I, these obesity rates that never existed in these places. They're in, a lot of these places, they're not eating the food that they used to eat for their region. So now it's, hey, can I have a number two and a fry and a, every, and it's everywhere. So we've exported chronic disease literally all over the world. And, um, and to see it is, you know, you hear about it, but then to go there and see it, go, you go there and, you know, you're in, you're, in, you're in the Middle East and you go to McDonald's at 12 midnight and it's like, the, it's a family gathering, like that's where they have a party or something. And um, so it's, it's pretty insidious that, that, that this is happening. Um, we, <laughs> We need to. We need to. We need to change these spaces. You know, we we need to transform these these spaces to serve the public for a new time, for a new for a new way, for new citizens. Gardening changed my perspective. 